Hello, welcome to the Curiosity Show. Here's a problem for you concerning three people, Jack, Jill and Dean, and five hats. And as you can see, three of them are white and two of them are yellow. Now here's what happens. Jack, Jill and Dean are all blindfolded and then somebody comes into the room and puts one hat on each head and hides the other two hats. Then Jack and Jill have their blindfolds removed so that they can see the other two people but they can't see their own hat. Each of us is asked to work out what colour hat we're wearing. Well, Jack says nothing, Jill says nothing, but Dean, who's still blindfolded, is able to correctly say what colour his hat is. How could that be? Well, it's all to do with logic. I wonder if you worked it out. There are several possibilities. Here's what might have happened. Jill might have had a white hat, and Jack could have had a yellow hat, and perhaps Dean had a yellow hat too. Had that been the case, Jill would have looked at Jack and Dean and said, they have the two yellow hats, there are only two of them, mine must be white. But she didn't say anything at all. Here's another situation that could have arisen. Jill could have had a white hat and Jack could have had a white hat as well. Had that been the case, Jack would have looked at Jill because he knew Dean had a yellow hat and he would have waited for her to say hers was white, which would have told him that his was yellow. But she didn't say that, so he knows that his is not yellow, not the same as Dean's, so he says his is white. But he didn't say anything either. And so my hat could not have been yellow because we would have heard from one of the other two. Only one other possibility. My hat must have been white. That's how I knew. Now you may need to talk to somebody else about that problem because you know the old saying, two heads are better than one. I want to know.